How does the vapor pressure of a pure liquid depend on temperature? In another video um, titled, How Does Equilibrium Constant Depend on Temperature? We derived this equation for equilibrium constant. For endothermic reactions, the standard enthalpy of reaction is positive. When temperature 2 is greater than temperature 1, the reciprocal of temperature 2 is smaller than the reciprocal of temperature 1. Therefore, this term is negative. Overall, the term in the right-hand side is positive. Therefore, Keq at the higher temperature T2 is greater than the Keq at the lower temperature T1 for endothermic reactions. Uh, vice versa for uh, exothermic reactions, and this is Le Chatelier principle. Now we treat evaporation as a chemical reaction, just to reuse this equation. For evaporation, the reactant side is the pure liquid. The product side is the vapor uh, with this uh, p-vap pressure at temperature T. Therefore, the equilibrium constant for this physical change is p-vap divided by 1. We then have this original equation of equilibrium constant converted to an equation of vapor pressure. The vapor pressure does depend on temperature. And because the enthalpy of vaporization is always positive, at higher temperature, you always have higher vapor pressure. And we can set PVAP1 to be 1 atm, and then we have this uh, new equation, which simply tells you how to decide the vapor pressure at a given temperature. You do need to know the enthalpy vaporization and the boiling point of that liquid. And uh, when this PVAP equals P external, this is the external pressure the liquid feels. When these two are equal, the liquid starts to boil. So we can actually compute the uh, boiling point under reduced pressure, or we can uh, compute the pressure under which the water boils. So therefore, uh, we can uh, easily determine either the boiling point of a liquid from its external pressure or vice versa. If we do know the enthalpy of vaporization and the boiling point of that liquid. And uh, the above derivation and analysis can be applied to all pure liquids within a small to moderate temperature range, typically tens of kelvins. This is because uh, in this equation, uh, we assumed the enthalpy of vaporization is independent of temperature, but it does depend on temperature. Uh, the dependence is actually the integral of uh, the change of CPM dt. And the change of CPM is the molar heat capacity of the vapor minus the molar heat capacity of the liquid. So it's important for us to remember uh, not to use this equation if the temperature change is more than several hundred degree Celsius. Uh, I'm going to give you an example, uh, water. Uh, the enthalpy of vaporization of water is roughly 41 kilojoule per mole, uh, near 100 degrees Celsius, around 100 degrees Celsius. It's actually uh, 43, or more than 43, at the room temperature. But anyway, 41 and 43 are close enough, so I'm going to use this 41 kilojoule per mole in my calculation. Uh, water can boil at room temperature under a reduced pressure. And it's possible to compute this reduced pressure. I simply used this equation. And then PVAP is equal to E to the power of negative standard enthalpy of vaporization over R times 1 over the boiling point under reduced pressure. I'm going to plug in 298K here. And then 1 over the boiling point under 1 atm pressure. I'm going to plug in 373K here. So I typed this equation in Wolfram Alpha and got the result 0 
36 atm water boils at room temperature if the external pressure is as low as 0 0.036 atm you may click this uh, url to see the calculation